Here is the eye sharpener. Must be an Apple product. One of those ones they never said anything about and just released. Apparently the company has gone green. It's a USB pencil sharpener. Odd in a number of ways. First of all, it will run on batteries. I guess it's either four AAAs or four AA's. Looks like four AAA's would fit in here. Um, the little sharpener guy right on the inside. It appears there's a blue china LED. And uh, obviously the sharpenings go in here. And uh, that's going to hold an awful lot right there. That That's, that's great. But uh, one other interesting thing about this is their use of the USB plug. The USB paper shredder had a barrel connector, but look what this one uses. A headphone jack. Eighth inch. <laughs> I can't figure it out, but that's what they used. I have a brand new best pencil in the world, Dixon Ticon Ticonderoga pencil. Number two. Soft. Soft. And uh, we'll see what kind of horrible sharpening job this Chinese useless USB pencil sharpener can give us. There's a little... Sw I'd love to use this as a pointer, but it's not sharpened yet. Uh, there's a little white switch in there that'll turn it on when you insert a pencil. You can see it right there. But anyway, let's get a shot of the inner workings here. Okay, um, it didn't start the motor. I think it's kind of... It almost kind of wants to work. It's got plenty of china in this. I thought it was a blue LED, but it's not. And you can see it's doing an excellent job sharpening. Yeah. Let's try it this way and see if we can make it work. Maybe you have to just push down really good? No. Maybe it just makes noise and you turn manually? No. It, it almost sharpened it, right? That's close. Alright, we'll open this piece of crap up and see what it has to offer. Well, that's the inside of it. There's the motor with its gear on it. Three other little gears which are just sitting there. There actually is some sort of grease on this. Here's the cover for it. Interestingly enough, it has all these little divots in it. I have no idea why. You can see around the big keeper, if you will, there is some grease there. It's just like a, a whitish stuff. And uh, nothing really to do here except put it back together and pray that it works. Um, I gather, if anything, the gear on the motor shaft isn't secured to that properly. And the motor shaft or the gear is slipping on the motor shaft. That's my best guess as far as what's going on. Uh, if that's the case, unfortunately the grease there is going to make gluing that rather difficult, but I might try putting a dot of crazy glue on it, but chances are that's just going to jam up the entire mechanism, so it's probably better if I just leave it and we'll just have pretty china LEDs in it. So I'll reassemble it, we'll give it one last test, and that'll be it. Last try for china. Oh, it's a little better. It just jams up. I bet that's what the problem is. You know, all these flashing lights and this almost perfect for dubstep or something. Or Skrillex. They, 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 they both sound like crap. <laughs> well, there you go. Sharpens you go. your pencils and flashes lights. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. It's not the eye sharpener. It's the that's eye... I don't it's the know. eye dancer. Eye dancer, there you go. It's the eye dancer. There you go, folks. Another failed Apple product. Beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click sharpener and don't get your uh, knickers in a twist. Or oh, your pencils in a twist. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye. That'll write, right? That's sharp.